Dedicated, determined, dependable. This is News 10 ABC. So let's do it, Albany. Let's bring on Bernie. Pick somebody who can actually beat Hillary Clinton. Now that's like... Yeah, it looks like everybody's in town, right? Good evening. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm John Gray. And I'm Lydia Colbita. You just heard three presidential hopefuls setting their sights on local voters ahead of next week's primary. Uh, Bernie Sanders, Donald Trump, John Kasich, all appearing today at rallies around the Capitol region. News 10 ABC has full in-depth team coverage. We want to go first to the Times Union Center, where uh, Donald Trump getting ready to address a huge crowd of supporters. Our Ayla Ferone and Rachel Yankunas are both there. We'll begin with Ayla outside. And Ayla, what have you been seeing outside the Times Union Center? Well, you can see that there has been a large crowd that has formed outside of the Times Union Center here. That is the line of people waiting to get into this Donald Trump rally here at the Times Union Center. Um, and that starts in just about an hour here. But you, if you look over there, there's also plenty of protesters here. And uh, there's a little bit, been a little bit of clashing going on right now. But the Trump supporters I talked to earlier today say they're prepared for it. Hundreds of Donald Trump supporters flooded into the Times Union Center, hoping to get as close as possible to the presidential hopeful. I think he would be very great for America. I really think he could turn this country around and do a great job. They say they support his values. Economics, the border. Uh, you know, it's not a matter of keeping everyone out. It's just making sure that they're here legally. It's not about hate, it's about following the law. No other country on the planet would do this, would export its jobs and would, ex and would allow people to come in and significantly change the culture. But not everyone out today was in support of Trump. Hey, oh, oh, Trump, Trump supporters I spoke with today say those protesters should stay outside of the event and even better, not come at all. You know, I hope it's a peaceful thing and, um, you know, if you're a Bernie supporter, you can go to the Bernie rally, uh, you know, a mile away. You don't, you don't have to be here and interrupt us. And again, a very large crowd here in front of the Times Union Center. This is expected to be a huge event. The TU Center can hold up to 15,000 people. We're now going to go live to our Rachel Young Kunis, who is inside the Times Union Center right now. And Rachel, what's the crowd looking like in there right now? the crowd here getting a little bit louder though people are still beginning to settle in here of course a lot of people here keep in mind this venue can fit around 17,000 people we even have some people sitting in the nosebleeds but you will also see a lot of empty seats you're reminded why when you take a look at this growing crowd here on the floor this is right in front of the stage where GOP frontrunner Donald Trump is expected to be in about an hour now now earlier today I spoke to a few people here on why they made the trek over here because one of them is from out of state and they tell me that it is important to them to see a Trump speech in its entirety in order to make an informed decision. I think that's very significant, you know, seeing him live and I, the crowd is already amazing. Everyone's hyped up. I can't vote Tuesday because I'm an independent, but if he gets to the general, he's my guy. We see a lot of people behind me. They do have their signs. They're ready for Donald Trump to take the stage in about an hour. That has been expected to be here. And a lot of supporters, the crowd is still growing. They're getting louder. But it is relatively calm here right now. Live in Albany, I'm Rachel Young Kunis for News 10 ABC. All right, Rachel, thank you much. Albany uh, Democratic candidate Bernie Sanders drawing a huge crowd at the Washington Avenue Armory. News 10 ABC's Lindsey Nielsen is there. Lindsey, how'd that go? John, there was so much excitement in the armory here. Bernie Sanders had the thousands that filled the armory here today, feeling the burn. He actually noted at one point how loud this crowd was, and he asked them for their help. With the reality of America today, we will not have the future we require. 
That's why Democratic presidential candidate Bernie Sanders says he's asking people to challenge the status quo and think outside the box. Today, he asked thousands at the Washington Avenue Armory to help him make a change. No president, not Bernie Sanders or anyone else, can do it alone. We need a political movement. The crowd cheered Sanders on as he announced his plans if he became president. A Medicare for all single payer program. And Sanders says he would raise minimum wage nationwide. People can't make it on eight or ten dollars an hour. Raise the minimum wage to 15 bucks an hour. Sanders says his campaign has been listening to people, not wealthy campaign donors, and he wants to take big money out of politics. How does it happen that we could give billions of dollars in tax breaks to the wealthiest people in this country, but supposedly we don't have the resources to rebuild inner cities in America? Now, Sanders also talked about fracking. He is against fracking, and he talked about the dangers. Now, there were also a lot of people outside. I have my colleague here, Trishma Begum. She was out there with those lines. Yeah, it was a lot of people, and as you mentioned, this entire place was packed, all the seats behind us, and really the floor we're standing on, you'll remember, and really not very much space once everybody packed in here. And it seemed like there were really two venues today here at the Armory and right next door over at the Public Library. The line snaked around from the entrance of the armory all the way down Washington to the back of Elk. More than 4,000 people in all waiting to get inside of the armory. The first few people in line so eager to hear from the senator, they showed up at 5 a.m. And for hours, they were entertained by diehard Sanders supporters who came with instruments, signs, and dancing skills to make sure the crowd was feeling the burn. But not everyone was able to make it inside. About 2,000 people crowded outside where Senator Sanders made a brief appearance so he could address everyone. And even though many like Paul Giller had a good idea of what Sanders would talk about, he knows it's important to drum up support because Sanders will need all the votes he can get against Hillary Clinton in the primaries. Uh, you know, I've listened to Bernie all the way through this, this campaign, so I pretty much know what I'm going to hear from him. He's going to tell us that he supports us and he represents us. It's an uphill climb and it's going to be a lot of hard work for him, but here's the truth. Working people are used to working hard and used to fighting uphill. And most of the people I spoke with today say they are planning to go out and vote uh, on the 19th in the primaries for Bernie Sanders. They are registered to vote, and that's really going to be the real test is if they can get everybody who is here inside the armory and even those crowds outside to get them to get out and vote on Tuesday. Reporting live in Albany, I'm Trisha Begum, 4 News 10, ABC. Thank you, Trisha. Republican presidential hopeful John Kasich also making stops in several capital region cities. News 10, ABC's Noel McClellan. McLaren joins us live from Troy, where he answered questions at LaSalle Institute. Noel? He sure did. Kasich today in a more intimate setting, in a town hall setting, where he responded directly to questions from a crowd of about 350 people. He tried to prove today that he still has momentum and that he is the Republican candidate, if he is selected, that could beat Hillary Clinton in a prime in a general election. Turn them down whenever you get a chance because I can't see anybody. So Republican candidate John Kasich asking for the lights in his face to be turned down, making sure he got a good look at his potential voters here in the capital region. He may not be leading in the polls, but he was greeted with a standing ovation, and he says he's confident he'll still be standing come the Republican convention. I'm surprised it's this small, uh, but I think the fact that the other two, you know, that, that there's other uh, functions today may be part of the reason that um, that he's not getting that big of a, a turnout. And he'll need all he can get. Supporters we spoke with say they're concerned with the smaller turnout with other candidates in town. I think we're going to go to a convention. And I think when we get there, okay. <laughs> but I really... I really need to have your support. He focused on a range of issues, including his concern for the economy. He brought in a national debt clock, saying we need to restore confidence in business. When those numbers go up, it means your prospects for jobs go down. When those numbers go up, it means the economy is weaker. 
K6 next stop is tonight in Saratoga. We are live in Troy, Noel McLaren, News 10 ABC. Thank you, Noel, and stay with News 10 ABC tonight at 10 and 11 for more on that and all the day's events. All right, let's check in with our chief meteorologist, Steve Caparizzo. I was thinking, Cap, they had the signs feeling the burn. Some of those people who waited in the lines were feeling the chill, too, today. Yeah, it was cool and wet, and another round of rain moving in. Actually, not bad right now. The warmest part of the day, the temperature at 50. We have a south wind at 13 miles per hour. One band of rain moving through this evening, and another... Area wet weather arrives after 9 or 10 o'clock tonight, so the rain will be picking up. All right, your forecast, periods of rain or showers, mid-40s tonight. It ends early tomorrow, a pretty decent afternoon. High near 53 and Wednesday, partly sunny in temperatures in the mid-50s. Much more coming up later in the newscast. Back to you, John. All right, thank you, Cap. Now, after the break, our election coverage, we're not done yet. Uh, we got a one-on-one -on -one interview with Vermont's own presidential hopeful. News 10 ABC's Heather Kovar sat down with Bernie Sanders. What he had to say about the economy, education, and the EPA. You're watching News 10 ABC. Well, as you know, presidential candidate Bernie Sanders was in town today speaking about his fight for the White House. News 10 ABC's Heather Kovar had a chance to sit down and talk with him one-on-one. -on -one. The people who wrapped around the block and back to see Bernie Sanders were mostly supporters. However, many of them say they just want to hear more of what the Vermont senator had to say. I got a chance to ask him a few questions. You're touching on one of the great crises facing America, and that is our middle class is declining. People are working longer hours for low wages. Senator Bernie Sanders says we have to change the economic culture in this country. He's going to the Vatican Thursday to give a speech on how to create a moral economy. And what a moral economy is about is not cutting wages of older workers. That is not a moral economy. That is a greedy economy. His rally motto, a future to believe in. He says everybody has the right to know what is in their water by a strong EPA. Our people should not be drinking unhealthy water. As for funding free public college education, a tax on Wall Street. Now, nobody asked when we bailed out Wall Street, how could we do that? Well, if we could bail out Wall Street, you know what? I think we can have a tax on Wall Street speculation and make sure that Wall Street now helps uh, working families being able to send their kids to college. After this rally, Bernie headed to Buffalo, and then tomorrow he continues his upstate trip in Rochester and Syracuse. Reporting in Albany, Heather Kovar, News 10 ABC. All right, thank you much, Heather. Be sure to uh, go to our website, news10.com, for more on all of the candidates in town. Plus, we will be live streaming Donald Trump's rally when he gives the big speech tonight. Watch it on News 10.